OK, so more about sequences today. Um, and here's the big idea. This is the three times table. OK, nothing shockingly new there. Um, what might be new to you is this notation 3n. So 3n means 3 multiplied by n. And we can think of that as being the three times table. So n is just a number, and if n was 1, then that just means 3 times 1. That's 3. If n was 2, then 3 times 2 is 6. If 3 was 3, you get 9, etc. So n just means it's a number, that number might change. And so we can think of 3n as being, well, 3n is just all the multiples of 3. OK, and that's kind of what I want you to think of 3n as being when we talk about sequences. So what happens if we add 4 to the 3 times table? So the way we'd write this is 3n plus 4. And the way I want you to interpret this is take the 3 times table, And then add four. It's like a rule. It's like a, a recipe, really. So let's have a look. This is your recipe. Take the three times table and add four to it. OK, so I'm hoping you're fairly happy with this. Three becomes seven because we've added four. Six becomes ten. Nine becomes thirteen, etc, etc. We're just adding four to each term and we're going to get um, a new sequence. And the recipe for this sequence is take the three times table and add four to it. And if I wanted you to describe that to somebody else, say I gave you the sequence and I say describe it to a friend, how, how do you make the sequence? You could just say take the three times table, add four to it. There you go, you've got the sequence. So again, let's just see this happen again. So 5n would be the five times table. If I said 5n take three, what that really means is I want you to take the five times table and I want you to subtract three away from each term. Again, I hope you're relatively happy that five take three is two, 10 take three is seven, 15 take three is 12, 17 take 3 is 17, and this is where this is coming from. And again, you can think of 5n take 3 as a recipe or a rule for creating a sequence, for generating a sequence. OK, and this is how you might phrase it. Generate the first five terms in the sequence 5n plus 2. So 5n means the 5 times table. So I'm just write that out. 5n would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to stop there because it says the first five terms and I've written down five terms here. Add two. OK. A couple of interesting things um, to point out. I mean, the five times table is a pretty interesting times table because all the numbers in it end in a five or a zero. So you see that five, zero, five, zero, five, zero. The sequence five N plus two is similar to that as well. As you can see, we end in a seven, we end in a two, we end in a seven, we end in a two, we end in a seven, we end in a two. So. It, you know, you might be able to notice interesting things about your sequence based on the recipe that you're given. For example, 5n plus 2 is going to have this pattern of flip flopping between two different end uh, numbers. So with that in mind, is the number 55 in this sequence? If I carried on going and did my next few ones, like 32, 37, would I eventually get to 55? And I'm hoping you're saying to yourselves, no, you wouldn't. 
the number 55 can't be in this sequence. And it just can't be because, again, we're only going to end in a 7 or a 2. So 55 is out. And again, we could work that out by actually going up there. But we can see 52 would be in the sequence and 57 would be in the sequence, but 55 wouldn't be. Let's have a look at this one. 4n take 3. So what we're talking about here is the 4 times table. Okay, I've just written the first five terms. So let's take three from each one. Okay. And that's it done. We've generated the first five terms in that sequence. We've understood it to be the four, four times table take three. And that's exactly what we've done here. Something we might be interested in is, you know, what interesting properties does the four times table have? Um, you might notice that all these are even numbers. So the four times table, every number in it is an even number. Um, which it makes sense if you think of four as being two times two. The two times table is just all the even numbers. Um, and that's going to be the case with the fours. Um, Four, uh, four and take three, these are all going to be odd numbers. And the reason for that is, you know, if you've got an even number and you take away an odd number, you always get an odd number. Try it out if you don't believe me, you know, pick a few numbers, try it out. This is true. And so because this is true and because all these are even and we're taking away three each time, these must always be odd. So that's just like an interesting property of that sequence. Um, and, you know, you can be asked this question, is the number 37 in this sequence? Well, it's odd, so that's a, that's a good start. Um, 4n take 3, let's have a think. Is it in the sequence? Well, what number in the 4 times table is near to 37? Well, we've got... 36 is in the four times table and we've got 40s in the four times table so if we do 4n take 3 uh, that means 33 and 37 oh look 37 is part of this sequence and notice that i didn't have to keep going and building my sequence up to get to 37 i just jumped in at a point that i knew was going to work you know, I know my four times table, so I know that 36 and 40 are in those. So I could just pick those and as my, you know, reasonable points nearby to, to check to see whether taking three away would give me that. OK, so this is another question. Generate the first five terms in this sequence. So don't panic about the minus 2n. That's just the minus two times table. OK, so the minus minus two n would just be the negative two table, uh, which is just the two times table, but negative minus two, minus four, minus six, minus eight, minus ten. And then we're going to add two to each one. Minus two add two is zero. So if zero is there, if you're at minus two, if you add two, you're going to get to zero. Add two again, uh, minus four add two, it's going to be minus two. Again, minus four, that's minus three, that's minus two. So if you're at minus four, you want to add two, one, two. Um, and again, it's going to work in a similar, this is going to be minus four, this is going to be minus six, this is going to be minus eight. I've just added two to each of these terms, and that's just generated this sequence. Does this sequence have any, any odd numbers in it? 
Well, hopefully you can see at this point that no, it doesn't. Just like the two times table only ends in a 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. So 2 uh, does this as well, 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. And that'll just repeat. So the next one would be negative 10, negative 12. And this pattern of 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 0, 2, 4, that's going to continue forever. So the answer is no, it doesn't have any odd numbers in it. OK, so generate the first five terms in this sequence. So again, the minus three times table. Oh, that should be an N, not an M. The minus three times table is minus three, minus six, minus nine, minus 12, minus 15, minus three and take one. Again, just be careful with your negatives here. If you're at minus three and you take one, you go down to minus four. Minus six, take one would be minus seven. OK, so we're just going one number more negative. Is the number 200, uh, sorry, negative 299 in this sequence? So let's just think about our negative three times table. I know that the number minus 300 would be in the minus 3n times table, uh, sorry, the minus 3 times table, because minus 3 times 100 would be minus 300. So again, just being aware of my times table makes this a bit easier. Then I do minus 3 and take away 1. What's minus 300 take away 1? Minus 301. So the answer is no. This is not in the sequence. It would be minus 301 would be in the sequence. Um, and then the number before that uh, would be sort of three down, so it'd be minus 298. So that would be in the sequence, minus 301 would be in the sequence, but this one wouldn't be in the sequence. Okay, so some diagnostic questions. What would the first five terms in the sequence be? Have a go. OK, so we'll look at some wrong answers first. This one's not right. This is the five times table. And I understand why some people might have got that. They may have done 3n plus 2 and just done 3 plus 2 to make 5, which you're not allowed to do. Um, but if that's what you did do, I can see why you may, may have written this out. Uh, this is wrong. And again, this is wrong for the same reason. So these two students have, have made basically the same mistake. One's just written 5n, but one's gone a step further and written the five times table. Both of these are wrong. This one here is the three times table. So that's just 3n. So that's fine. They've done this, but they forgot to add the two. And you can see that part D is correct. They've added the two to each term. And so they've got the correct answer. Bonus question, is the number 30 in this sequence? So is the number 30 in this sequence? OK, so you can have a little think about this. Let's think about the number 30. We know the number 30 is in the three times table. So 30 plus 2 is 32. So the answer is no, 30 is not in the sequence. OK, next question. 5n minus 2. OK, so let's have a look. We've got uh, 5n minus 2. This very first one is 5n. So that's great, but they've not taken two away. Three ends just wrong. They've done five take away two to get three. But again, that's not correct. This one is five N take two. So this one is correct. And this final one is five N plus two. So this one, the mistake is they've added two rather than subtract. 
bonus question is the number um, 24 million three hundred and fifty four thousand two hundred and thirty three in this sequence well I'll give you a clue there's only one number we care about and that's this three it ends in a three do any of these numbers end in a three yes and so actually this number even though it's very very large and we'd have to do the sequence for a long time to get to it this number is definitely in the sequence every single number that ends in a three is in this sequence and so we can say with confidence that it is just like every number that ends in a zero is in the five times table every number that ends in a three must be in the five and take two times table okay generate the first five terms in this sequence OK, a little bit trickier. I'll give you that. So minus two times table is minus two, uh, minus four, minus six, minus eight. Uh, I'll just leave it there. So we're going to add three minus two, add three minus one, zero, one. We're going to one, two, three. So this would be one. Um, and then this is going to be minus one. OK because minus four, so again, I can do this, minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, oh. one, two, three, minus one, um, and then it's going to be minus three, minus five, etc. So hopefully you can see there that A is correct. B is just that usual mistake of trying to add the two terms together, which is not correct. This is a very easy mistake to make. Um, if you got the answer of C, what you've done is you've, it probably says more about your ability to work with negative numbers than anything else. What you've done is you've done minus two N take three. So minus two take three is minus five, but it's not take, it's add three. Um, and again, this is a similar mistake, but just without the negatives. Does this sequence contain any even numbers and why? Again, I think we can see here that no, it doesn't. The minus two times table only has even numbers and an even number plus an odd number equals an odd number. Again, try that if you don't believe me, but it's true. And so the reason for that is because we're always adding an odd number, we're always adding three. Um, what's happening is it's changing every single number to an odd number so there's never going to be an even number in this sequence okay and here's a wee task for you to have a bash at